Hello and welcome to another Naughty Egg Draw. I'm Jake and today is the second video of the four part series on how to create an animation. Now if you haven't seen the first part, I do suggest watching that. I'll have a link for it down below or up on the top here. In this one we will prepare the animation by cleaning up the line work over the animatic. I will also be doing the next set of main keyframes. This will give it a smoother transition from frame to frame. And without further stalling, let's get into it because I got a lot of work to do. So if you're following along and making your own animation alongside of this video, and this is your first animation, you will start to notice the amount of patience you need to be able to be an animator. This is the first step that actually takes a good amount of tedious work. I had this entire thing sped up, but it was about two and a half hours worth of footage. So in this process, I'm going over the animatic with the layers that I will be animating on. I split Sonic into two parts, his head and his body. When you're working with a lot of movement, you can break down each part into its own layer, such as head, back arm, front arm, left leg, right leg, and body. But with this animation, the movement is very low, so I just stick with having the body as one and the head as another. So this is pretty simple at this point. All you're doing is really making sure you're keeping all the line work clean and connected, and that you're keeping your proportions in check. So this is pretty simple at this point. All you're really doing is making sure you keep all your line work clean and connected and making sure your proportions are in check. This is also the point where you want to start adding details to your drawings like adding wrinkles to your shirt or adding actual fingers and stuff like that. Because remember, these drawings are what are going to be in your final product. Now a good thing to keep in mind is to try to connect your lines because it will help you fill in the colors later on. Now you can pick the setting in your paint bucket that fills gaps but I don't like using that option all that much because sometimes it will miss filling sections that you wanted to have filled because some lines are too close and you may not notice it, but in your final product, you might have holes randomly throughout your character. So just a friendly tip, connect your lines. So this is normally around the time when I normally make a background or two for the piece. You can do this later on if you want or when you've done your coloring and all that kind of stuff, but I like to do it at this point because uh, I want to make sure the characters fit in the scene for your layout. So you will see the forest scene that I made pop up here and there throughout the section because I wanted to make sure that the position I had the characters in fit right. I made the background in Photoshop and if people want I can do a video on how to make a background for an animation. Leave comments below if that's something you'd want.
Now this is the part where it gets a bit more difficult because you're actually going to be starting your animation process. This is where you'll be adding in the next set of keyframes to do, so you're going to go a couple frames behind the ones you've already made. I went back about 5 or so on most of them, and this is where you will start to see your character's movements instead of just jumping from pose to pose. Now something you will want to make sure is turned on is your onion skin tool. This tool represents the method traditional artists use when they would flip back and forth between the frame they were drawing and the frames previous and after. With modern technology and updates that Animate have made, the onion skin tool takes a lot of that pain away. You can see the green silhouette, which is the frame after, and the blue frame, which is the layer previous. So really all you are doing is changing the drawing to make sure they land right in between the two. Now in the next video where we'll be going over the in-betweens, you'll see the process again where I'm just drawing the shapes that are landing right in between the two frames. So just a quick cap of what was completed today. So at this step we started preparing the animation by cleaning up the line work over the animatic and getting the layers set up for the animation. After the line work is done we want to go and start adding other keyframes to help get ready for the in-between section. Now remember in this process we want to make sure the onion skin is on so we can see where the poses or the objects were or are going to end up. And that's pretty much it for this section. It's just a lot of drawing and a lot of undos. So I'm finished adding all the keyframes that I feel I need, and let's see how it looks when it's played. Hey Tails, have you heard from Knuckles lately? Uh, no. Then maybe we should give him a ring. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click on that sub button over here on the left or down below. If you want to enjoy some other videos of mine, make sure you click on them over here on the right. Also, make sure you throw a comment and a thumbs up down below, and like always, keep drawing, and until next time.